everybody and welcome back to another On The Table episode guys. So, what have I been up to recently? Well guys, I'm going to tell you, I've been getting into the new edition of 40k, grand old 80th edition, and do you know what? It is absolutely fan-bloody-tastic. Um, I have not had this much fun playing 40k in absolute years. It is really, really nice. It Everything flows quite well. Um, nothing seems to be particularly OP, and um, it, it's made been made a lot more simplified um, from what I've uh, my understanding of it. Um, back in the day, a game used to take between like three and like five hours. Now you can literally have a game in maybe under two hours, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I decided to dust off my Nurgle stuff to have a go and just have a play with some of the new units, mainly because it was the uh, the army that is in the actual Dark Imperium box set. Um, so I was like, oh, okay, we'll see how these things go. We'll play a little demo game kind of thing at my local store. And uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. And it actually inspired me to get back into Nurgle because there is one thing that is actually pretty awesome. And it's something that I'm going to be making a absolute shit ton of. And that is the Poxwalker unit. Now, Poxwalkers are really cool. They're basically what plague zombies you uh, they're, they're instead of plague zombies so um they basically get uh, back in the old this they have like a five plus feel no pain which is called disgustingly resilient now um, which means they don't get an armor save but they do get that so on a five or a six they ignore the wound entirely plus they've got a really nifty little rule any enemy they slay in combat joins their unit which is pretty cool so it kind of rises from the dead as a zombie um but anyway what are we going to be looking at today we're going to be looking at some nurgle stuff as i said because i felt inspired to kind of do some more Nurgle, and uh, there's a couple of uh, little things that I've actually got. First and foremost, I decided to uh, have a go at rebasing these guys. These are uh, Heresy Miniatures Hellmites. Now, for you old school guys, you will have seen these before. For you new school guys, you're probably wondering what the fuck. Um, these are really cool little miniatures. They're little giant, well, they're little giant, they're little ticks. Uh, little mites uh, kind of thing. I'm just going to free up my camera so I can zoom in. Um, they're really, really good value for money um, in regards to how many you get. And I think it, they've done it in such a way that the uh, price, the more you order, the less you pay, which is pretty cool. Um, they're pretty sizable. They actually look like popcorn, as Spud, uh, Spud Tate, uh, what game of Viking calls them, in our last game that we had. And uh, yeah, you know, they are quite popcornish. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to be... Using these guys as stand-ins for some poxwalkers, I've already got about 30 of them, but the key to them is going to be mass numbers, and you can get 15 poxwalkers for about 90 points, which is really, really good. It means you can absolutely load up your lists full of them. It doesn't matter if they die, because they're really, really cheap, and they're just great cannon fodder for stuff. I really, really like these little guys, but they were sitting unbased uh, for ages and ages on a shelf, on my shelf of Purgatory, um, which is up there to the uh, to the right of me, to the left of me, sorry. And I decided, you know what, they deserve to get based, they deserve to get their engines done, which I've not done yet, admittedly, but nonetheless, they will be done soon enough. So I'm just going to move these guys out of the way. Um, so that's one little bit of Nurgle stuff that I've been doing. Um, the next thing, uh, I actually really wanted to have a go at... Um, converting some stuff uh, just because I've, you know, I've been a bit you know neglecting my converting my conversion skills recently and I really really wanted to uh, test my metal before I make this big gribbly for the winner of the competition I've kind of already started it got the armature going but there's not really much to actually show you guys yet so and it might change to be honest so I thought to myself I'll have a little practice with some Nurgle stuff first now, I was thinking to myself, do you know what is a really interesting unit that doesn't look that good on paper, but people say it's really good? Is that Fetid Blight Drone thing. Um, it's got a flamer weapon, it can fly, it's pretty good in combat, it's pretty good at taking wounds off. Um, so I decided, you know, rather than fork out and buy them, I decided I was just going to make my own. Uh, now, if you guys have uh, been sticking to the Facebook group, you'll have seen sneak peeks of this. I'm just going to zoom in. So, yeah, this is my own rendition of the Fetid Blight Drone, or the Fetid Plague Drone, or whatever it is. And I really like it. I had a huge lump of green stuff lying around in my bits box, and I decided, hey, fuck it, that's the best thing that I can do to use as a body for it. So I did. Um, I decided to forego the lenticular and the mechanical kind of look for a more organic look here. And as you can see, we've actually got... Uh, a, I think this is a Forge World uh, Plague Marine. I'm not entirely sure. Could be a, a workshop one for all I know. Um, it was just in my bits box. And uh, we got him like hooked up to the front of it. So he is basically the pilot. He has become 
the Blight Drone. Um, the guns are actually off the Predator kit that I did um, on the last video, and I actually just uh, used uh, heavy flamer barrels because, like I said, this is supposed to be a flamer weapon. These are the tanks, the putrid tanks that fill it up and then spray the deliciously disgusting Nurgle juices on them. Um, we've got these little fly wings here because I just thought it looks really cool. It looks absolutely impossible. Like it, that couldn't fly in a million years. Uh, however, it's got some thrusters. Got thrusters on the go, guys, so he can get around quite a bit. And then that's his uh, plague, his blight probe there, which is going to be used to like stab, stab, and stabbing guys in the dick. Um, but yeah, really, really nice and e nice, easy little model for me to make, and nice little exercise to get my Nurgle stuff. I was really happy with the way the uh, carapace uh, turned out as well. The way I've got, kind of got the uh, the worn kind of edges. Uh, going on here, which I used for the scalpel blade, and then the, I crimped it all up here to kind of give it the rigidness. But nonetheless, it looks really, really cool. And these tubules are actually done without the aid of a proper um, tube tool from uh, you know, for my green stuff, because I've lost the side guide, so I had to kind of freeball it and roll it by hand almost, but they turned out pretty well. Uh, got some of the uh, Chaos Spikes and the Chaos Vehicle Sprue hanging out underneath as well, just to add a little bit more of a menacing appearance. Oh shit, nearly dropped in them. And uh, yeah, really, really cool. I've actually got a little hole in there to fit him on a flight stem, which uh, again, you know, is going to just add a little bit more height to him and just make it look a little bit cool. I think I might run three of these, because uh, like I say, they're individual, their unit cap is one. So they can, they, it'll be really, really good for people to have to pick targets for, because if these get in combat, not only are they going to flame the shit out of you, they're actually pretty decent in combat as well. In fact, I actually have, ah, uh, I have the, uh, the codex here, Index Chaos. I shall read you now the stat line, because why the fuck not? I'm not monetized, so Jesus, we can't say nothing about my channel, motherfuckers. Uh, where's it gone? Come on, I'm on demons. Don't want demons, I want Chaos Shiznay. Come on, Chaos Shiznay. There we go. There we go. Fetid Bloat Drone. Uh, movement 10, whilst this is at full wounds. Uh, weapon skill 4 plus to get skill 4. However, his weapon automatically hits, which is pretty cool. Uh, he is strength 6 when he is, um, again, on full health. Uh, toughness 7. Wounds 10. So shit the bed, that's a lot of wounds. Technically he's a vehicle. Um, attacks uh, 3 in close combat. Uh, leadership 8 and a 3 plus save. Uh, disgusting resilient gives him a 5 plus uh, uh, feel no pain. He has also a 5 plus invulnerable save. So basically he gets a, five, uh, a 3 plus save. 5 plus arm save. And if any wounds get through he gets to uh, ignore them on a 5 or a 6 which is pretty good. And putrid explosion. If this model is re reduced to zero wounds, roll a d6 before removing from the battlefield. On a four plus, it explodes, and each unit in seven inches, inches suffers one mortal wound, which is pretty cool. So it can kill a lot of shit when it blows up. Um, really, really good. Oh, it's a. Uh, oh, fuck, I've got to go back now. It's weapon profiles. Hold on, guys. Sorry, you're just kind of like looking at an immobile screen. Let's just zoom in a little bit so you can get a look at some of the delicious. Delicious, nurgly uh, goodness there, whilst I read out um, the stat line for his weaponry. Uh, here we go. So, he has the Plague Spitter, which is Assault D6. Nine inches. Fucking crazy. So, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to more stuff in the Assault. This weapon automatically hits its target. So, you get D6 hits automatically. Uh, minus one to the AP, damage one. So, you basically roll in. You can get a maximum of six hits. Minus, a, minus one AP, and then you get to assault. And you get to you get three attacks in close combat as well from the uh, plague probe, which is AP minus two and D three damage. Fuck me, guys. Fuck me sideways. That's amazing. That's a really, really good weapon. That's a really, really good thing. But well, kind of average on paper, but it's supposed to be really good. But anyway, I like it. It's gonna be cool to paint up. Now, guys, last uh, but not least, uh, we have something that's really cool. Now. In the old edition of 40k, um, I would completely abstain from taking psychers, mainly on the count of I really didn't understand the psychic phase all too well, and for me it was just really confusing and an unnecessary step. So I actually missed out on a whole phase of um, of gameplay, which I never even understood. Now it's super easy. There's none of this fucking power dice bollocks. It's literally warp charge seven. Get seven or more on two dice, it casts. The enemy can nullify it <clears throat> if they have a Psyker. That's basically it. But what the fucking dude are day? <coughs> Sorry, my throat's gone really dry because I've got a freaking fan on down here. It's probably causing loads of horrible background noise. But yeah, what do you fucking do? I can actually take psychers now, and they're worth it. Because one of the cool things Nurgle's got is it's got a um, spell or a psychic power. 
that can actually make uh, a unit to minus one uh, to hit, so from an enemy shooting at it. So I have like my lovely unit of fucking blow, um, pox walkers here. Uh, I can make it so that rather than an enemy hitting on a three plus, they're hitting a four plus, on a four plus, a five plus, and so on and so forth, which is pretty good. Um, so as a result, I decided, hey ho, I'm going to make a Nurgle Sorcerer, as you guys see here. Um, really really chuffed with the way this guy turned out. I wasn't initially, but the paint job has kind of grown on me. The bit that annoys me is the fact that I've not used the right shade of green on the um, the, the gribbly bits, which is really annoying. And I've also done my fantastic um, little slime effect on the base as well, which looks really, really cool. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> converted out of a... Mark three marine because it fits in with the armor, uh, manifesting some fantastically awesome Nurgle psychic powers. Um, you know he's got a cool little custom backpack. This is basically a um, corn berserker backpack with the <coughs> incense burners from Dark Angel set glued on. Just looks really really cool. Looks like they are kind of must they emit some kind of plague or some kind of viral agent. Um, we got some uh, Nurgle shoulder pads on the go. I think I might do those little inside bits red. Or maybe another metal colour, and then I need to do some touch up on that shoulder pad and just add a little bit more detail to it. Um, now, you might be wondering where the book hand is from, and the book hand is actually from the Skaven Plague Monk uh, sprue, of which I have maybe about five of these books, and they are a perfect fit for Space Marine hands. The only thing you've got to do is kind of shave off the back of the hand a little bit to make it look square like uh, this one here, and then you're golden. But yeah, so I thought manifesting Nurgle psychic powers would be really, really cool, so I went for a bright green, but then toned it down with some uh, aspects of Ethonian camo shade just to make it look a little bit more Nurgly. This is actually a, um, uh, what should I call it, the, one of the beards, I think, from the big uh, tree man uh, model from Gaze Workshop. I clipped the leaves off it, and so it looks like it's like thorns with like warpy skulls coming through, and then these two skeletons here are from the dryad sprue, and then I made the pages of the book look all pussy and disgusting, um, like it's just like a rotten tome that he's held up and he's casting out of. Uh, again, the top of the staff is from the Skaven Plague Monk uh, sprue, and there uh, we've got, oh, we've got some um, skulls there that are a bit nurgly and rotten. I didn't want to go too gribbly on this guy because I thought it would detract from the actual psychic power being manifested. Um, so we kind of got a bit of a, uh, a bit of a, a bit of a, a, a green face on the go. I felt like doing it green and kind of zombie-ish would really fit considering he's kind of half dead and half gribbly anyway. And then we've got some delicious pustules there, which I'm actually really happy with these ones. Uh, it's not a lot, a lot of the time that I'm happy with the pustules and stuff that I do, but they're really good. And again, his head, his, his face has kind of grown on me. It looked a little bit messy in it originally, but then I thought, hang on, he's supposed to be nurgly and rather uh, zombified. So it kind of worked out. But um, there's lots of effect. Well, I call them effect paints. They're not, actually. There's Tamiya Clear Red, Tamiya Clear Yellow, and Tamiya Clear Green green got into this. Uh, oh, also, for those of you that, that don't know, the way I do the slime on the... Oh, I'm moving the camera. Hold on. I'm just going to leave a uh, lovely close for that whilst I go and grab something. So yeah, so the, the way I do my uh, slime effects is really easy. Um, all you do is you go to um, Hobbycraft and you pick up a bottle of uh, Tamiya Clear Green for £1.80 and you mix it with PVA glue. Um, about a 50-50 ratio. You want it to kind of be like this kind of consistency. Very, very viscous. And you want to mix it all up. And then what you want to do is you want to take a very, very bright green colour. So for this particular one, I use Scorpion Green from Vallejo. And then all you want to do is you want to slather the base with it. You want to put it down really, really thick because PVA glue shrinks as it dries and what happens is you're left with this really nice slime texture. I use little half cut up balls of green stuff for little bubbles and it just gives an absolutely fantastic effect. And um, once I do the uh, finish that base edging on this, um, it'll be it'll be pretty much finished and I'll be able to use it. I also need to do the little bone, the little thong here hanging the ear on the, the bones on. I need to do that little uh, leather colour but other than that, really, really good miniature, really nice miniature to actually have a little play around with and get back into converting Nurgle. Um, but yeah guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I really hope that you've liked the look of this uh, Nurgle stuff. Um, I had fun making it and um, I'm probably going to do a um, more in-depth make me ramble video actually in regards to um, 
the uh, how I find the new edition of 40k. And again, guys, there's something very special coming soon, uh, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, but yeah, so on that bombshell, guys, what do you think of the new 8th edition? Is it any good? Do you like it? What are your favourite units so far that you've discovered? Um, what do you think of the new Nurgle miniatures? Let me know, just generally about 8th edition. Um, that's basically it, guys. Don't forget to like, favourite, and subscribe. Hello if you're new, and if you're the first time watching this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash that button in the face with... A mouldy Nurgle dick. Um, but yeah, guys, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Facebook page as well. Links in the description down below. And I will see you next time. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you now. And goodbye.